the bottle bill. And I am thrilled to be here today with the message that uh, businesses in Massachusetts love the updated bottle bill. So we're getting that Valentine's Day theme. And um, I want to uh, mention that uh, Senator Cream's office is here, Catherine, if you can give away. Senator Cream is um, the Senate sponsor of the updated bottle bill. And the program is fairly brief, but we'll start with our uh, house champion, uh, Rep. Alice Wolf, appropriately dressed in Valentine's Day red. Um, we have Lana Zamaro here from the League of Women Voters, a key member of the coalition. She will introduce the business leaders who are here to speak up on behalf of the updated bottle bill. And then um, we have some messages to be read uh, from folks that couldn't be here. When we, when we conceived of the event, it didn't dawn on us. Small business people, will, uh, by and large, are running their businesses. So uh, Tuesday morning at 11 is very convenient, but we have overwhelming response. We're going to read, read a few messages from um, people who could not be here today. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the House Champion of the Updated Bottle Bill, Representative Alice Wolf.
launch of businesses for the updated follow bill. Believe supports an update because it just makes sense. It's not some newfangled radical idea that popped up out of thin air. The, the update rests on a, a legacy of, of almost 30 years of a proven track record, basically, of success. Uh, it turns out that many businesses get that. In doing my own business outreach uh, in towns near where I live, I heard over and over again from businesses, all kinds of businesses, that the business, many business owners understand and agree that the bottles bill, an update to the bottle bill, makes economic sense, environmental sense, and jobs sense. Win, win, win. We're really grateful that several business endorsers could be with us here today and take time from their own businesses to uh, share with you their reasons for supporting the updated file bill. And it's an honor to be here to introduce them to you now. I'm going to, in the interest of time, introduce them all and uh, just ask them if they could just please repeat who they are when they stand up because it's a good place. So first, I'd also like to uh, mention uh, David Abel, who is going to be here, but tweeted in this morning that he has the flu and couldn't make it. Um, but we appreciate David's support. Uh, he's with Weekend. Um, and now I will introduce people who are here. I'd like to begin uh, with Judy Siegel from Clear Your Space. Uh, we also have uh, Carrie Nutfield from Crunch Time. That sounds interesting. <laughs> um, and Frank McCall from Strategic Materials. And John Provos from Artichoke Food Co-op. So, Joe, thank you. Thank you, Anna. Um, good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, my name is Jody Siegel, and I am the founder and owner of a small business called Clear Your Space. I'm pleased to be here to be part of the small business voice for the updated product. Um, as a former board member of the organization Mass Recycle and the director of technical programs for the Chelsea Center for Recycling and Economic Development until 2001, I've been paying very close attention to container recycling and all types of recycling for a number of years. Uh, the current bottle bill resulted in about 80% of redeemable containers staying out of landfills. So this system is clearly successful at accomplishing its goals of decreasing litter and increasing recycling. So why should we discriminate? The bottled water industry sells bottled water, which is not necessarily higher quality water than the stuff we get over our taps, um, at huge markups. And all told, the bottled water, tea, and sports drinks make up about, uh, or over a third of the bottled beverages sold here in the state. These non-carbonated bottles have the same and sometimes better aftermarkets than the currently uh, covered bottles. And they have just as much a right to a healthy and responsible afterlife as those fizzy containers. Now I'm a professional organizer. That's what Clear Your Space is. I work with individuals and small businesses to clear their space and develop habits that will maintain efficiency. I meet with folks who recycle everything and with those who throw it all away because it's too much trouble to separate. Having systems undeniably helps us accomplish our goals. We already have a great system in the bottle bill and we simply need to update it to include the non-carbonated non -carbonated drink containers to keep them out of the landfills and the incinerators. As a small business person who focuses on increasing efficiency and reducing waste in people's lives and businesses, I strongly endorse 